Hi, I'm Anna Wood, a longtime Pickering resident and realtor with Remax Rouge River Realty. Today, we are looking at some of the best things to do in the city of Pickering, starting with where I am right now, Pickering's Millennium Waterfront. This stunning lakeside neighborhood includes a residential and retail area known as Nautical Village. There's no better place to take in a leisurely stroll, browse the quaint shops, lively restaurants, or grab an ice cream on a sunny day. Millennium Square is a large public area alive with the electric energy of music, picnickers, and passerbys. A perfect spot to catch a cool breeze off the lake and take in the beauty of Lake Ontario. On summer days, the beachfront park area offers volleyball nets, a splash pad for the kids, and over one kilometer of sandy shoreline for beach lovers. You can bring your paddleboard, canoe, kayak, and you can even rent a jet ski. Take an evening walk to the Frenchman's Bay Lighthouse and watch the boat traffic returning to the harbor. To complete the experience, enjoy a spectacular sunset dinner at one of the waterfront patios overlooking Frenchman's Bay. Beer Hill Park, a former Toronto landfill site that sits on the Pickering town line, has been turned into one of the area's most unique destinations. Development of the park has been in the works since the landfill site closed in the early 1980s. This brand new park includes a wide natural surface trail system designed to minimize disturbance to wildlife species at risk. The trails accessible by walking or cycling include seating areas at various points on the path and several lookout points for viewing. From the summit of Beer Hill, park users can view a 360 degree panoramic view of the Rouge watershed, Lake Ontario, and even downtown Toronto. The park is located at 8145 Finch Avenue East and parking is limited to 12 cars. The onset of winter doesn't have to mean you can't have any outdoor fun. Pickering has no shortage of incredible places to lace up the skates and enjoy the great outdoors. The city currently maintains several public rinks, great for families and those learning to skate. In central Pickering, there is the Forest Brook Rink, located on Glen Anna Drive next to William Dunbar School. In Southwest Pickering, the Rick Hall Rink can be found next to Rosebank Public School. And in North Pickering, there is the Greenwood Rink and also a full-sized hockey rink located at the Claremont Community Center. Check the City of Pickering's website for up-to-date conditions and additional locations of Pickering's municipally managed rinks. Surrounded by the Rouge Park ecosystem, the postcard setting of Amos Pond makes it an ideal place to meet up with friends and play a pickup game of shinny. At nearly 15 acres in size, Amos Pond has plenty of space to accommodate groups big and small. Another beloved winter tradition that has been enjoyed by locals for generations is skating on Frenchman's Bay. Its naturally protected location and scenic backdrop makes it a picturesque setting for ice skating, ice fishing and other winter activities. The bay's enormous size means there's plenty of room for both pleasure skaters and those who want to play some pickup hockey. Be sure to check out DestinationOntario.com for safety tips and precautions before venturing out on any frozen ice surface. The City of Pickering hosts free concerts twice a week during the months of July and August at Esplanade Park and Millennium Square. 
you can bring your own lawn chairs or get in the mix and get your groove on. There's play areas for the kids to keep them occupied and washrooms available at both venues. These outdoor concerts feature a wide array of genre from classic rock and pop to jazz and reggae. Check the City of Pickering's event calendar to see a complete list of musical acts and artist information. Don't miss out on some of the best musical talent in the Durham region, performing at some of the best venues found anywhere. This is Pickering's Museum Village, Durham's largest living history museum. The open air museum features a replica village of buildings and artifacts from the pioneering era and is open to general admission from June to September. There are 19 heritage buildings including an old school house, general store, chapel, blacksmith shop and historic homes. There are several special events and exhibitions that take place throughout the year. The museum is also famous for its annual spirit walks and ghost walks, which make for a great family outing or date night. There's even a new escape room for groups of up to six. For up-to-date events and programs, check out pickeringmuseumvillage.ca or Pickering Muse on social media. If you're looking for one of the best things to do in the summer, it's hard to beat spending a day at the scenic Petticoat Creek Conservation Park. At Petticoat Creek, visitors can enjoy incredible views of Lake Ontario from the top of the bluffs, enjoy a volleyball game on the grass, or take in a family reunion at one of the dedicated picnic sites. The park also features a massive one acre pool that includes a wading area and a splash pad. You can also explore the waterfront trail or take a walk to the Petticoat Creek Pedestrian Bridge and enjoy a panoramic view of the Rouge watershed. Picnic sites are available for large gatherings or special events and offer barbecue areas, washrooms and picnic shelters. Permits for these dedicated sites can be reserved online at picnics.ca. Check out the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority website for the latest info on the Petticoat Creek Conservation Park. For nature lovers and those who love the outdoors, the Seton Trail is a spectacular hiking trail that will exceed your expectations. The Seton Trail extends 11 kilometers from Highway 7 to Valley Farm Road and includes four major access points, Green River, White Vale, Forest Stream, and Grand Valley. The trail is open year round and offers an exceptional nature experience for both experienced and new trail walking enthusiasts. There are several steep valleys and staircases found along the route and trails are well marked to allow hikers to stay on track. Several spectacular vistas can be viewed along the trail and there's always the occasion to catch a glimpse of wildlife in its natural habitat. Parking is free at each of the trail's four main access points. Dogs are also welcome and must be leashed at all times. Go to seatontrail.org for maps, news and upcoming events. The Pickering Casino Resort opened in July 2021 as the centerpiece of Pickering's Durham Live Project, a premier entertainment and tourism district aimed at being one of the top travel destinations in Ontario. This world-class casino and hotel offers 2,200 slot machines, 90 live table games, and a sports betting experience with dedicated lounges. 
The casino also includes a number of excellent dining options to satisfy every type of appetite. The Pickering Casino is located at 888 Durham Live Way. Be sure to check out pickeringcasino.com or dlive.ca for the latest updates on everything happening at the Pickering Casino Resort. Rotary Frenchman's Bay West Park is a recreational gem for those living in the Durham region and Greater Toronto areas. This revitalized waterfront area with its unique local natural environment has over one kilometer of sandy shoreline to satisfy beach lovers. The park offers visitors a wide range of water sport activities such as paddle boarding, kayaking, swimming, or just lounging on the beach. The park's location offers some of the best winds and waves in the region, making it an ideal site for kiting. Visitors can also explore the waterfront trail or enjoy a picnic lunch overlooking Lake Ontario. With its breathtaking views and peaceful atmosphere, Rotary Frenchman's Bay West Park is a must-visit destination for anyone seeking a break from the fast-paced urban life. The Great Lakes Waterfront Trail is the top destination for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. Stretching a total of over 700 kilometers along the shores of Lake Ontario, Pickering's 13 kilometers of trail is divided into three sections. The First Nations Trail, the Monarch Trail, and the Peak Trail. This two-way trail passes through forests, conservation lands, neighborhoods, and offers many places to stop and take in spectacular views. For those who might want to extend their adventure, the trail also links to both the City of Toronto's Rouge National Urban Park and the Town of Ajax Rotary Park. This 20 kilometer extended trail stretches from Toronto's East Point Park to Paradise Beach in Ajax. Whether you're a hiker, runner, cyclist, or just looking for a scenic stroll, Pickering's Waterfront Trail is a perfect place to enjoy the beauty of nature in the city. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to know more about living in the Pickering area, please check out some of the neighborhood videos featured on my channel. And if you find this video informative and useful, please give it a like below. It really helps the video and channel quite a bit. Thanks for watching.